Back on baseball. Okay. And this is Ken Kreitzer at Mikey Stadium for WVOX and Sons of American Legion Radio. I have a chance to talk with Mark Holtzman, who is the Executive Director of Non-Baseball Events at Yankee Stadium, everything else but baseball. Mark, we're looking forward to Army coming down to play Connecticut at Yankee Stadium in November. It should be a great day. Uh, Saturday, November 8th, uh, kickoff time at 3.30. Um, it's, it's early enough in the year. Hopefully we'll have some nice weather. It looks like Army's offense is going well. Hopefully their defense picks it up a little bit. and It'll, it'll be a great day. Two local teams, Yankee Stadium. We're hoping to have a great crowd. And football has become very important to the Yankees supporting college football, high school football, and your bowl game uh, at the end of the year. Why is football a big part of, of the Yankees' events at Yankee Stadium? Well, that really goes back to the boss, George Steinbrenner, who, for those of you who don't know, most people just look at him as the owner of the New York Yankees. Before he owned the New York Yankees, early in his career, he was an assistant football coach for both Purdue and Northwestern. And college football was always a very close second to uh, Yankee baseball for him. And one of his dreams was that at the New Yankee Stadium, it would be, uh, the New Yankee Stadium would be constructed so you could have college football there. And he believed for a long time that college football could be successful in the New York metropolitan area. And of course, there hadn't been a bowl in, in college football in the New York metro area since the Gotham Bowl in the mid 60s. And we've brought that back, and now we're going to be a very big bowl with the ACC and the Big Ten. We have UConn Army. We have Lehigh Lafayette, which is already sold out. We're going to have 52,000 people there. So this was really the boss's vision. He wanted Yankee Stadium to be more than just baseball, and we're delivering on that vision. And Mark Holtzman, a special relationship between the Yankees and West Point. The baseball team came up here last year for an exhibition game. West Point Band is often at Yankee Stadium performing. Uh, just a very uh, uh, nice partnership between the Yankees and West Point. Well, yes. The relationship, the best way to describe it is family. And that goes way back. I mean, West Point played the first college football game at Yankee, the old Yankee Stadium back in 1922. The Steinbrenner family has had a long history with the United States military. And uh, that, that relationship is just continuing. Um, you know, the team was up here, the baseball team was up here last year. Um, hopefully at some point they come back here. But it's a very special relationship. And Boo Corrigan, Bob Beretta and their team have really admirably carried on that special relationship with the Yankees, which we know will go for on for a long time. We've got a lot of excitement here with Army taking on Rice at Mikey Stadium today. Mark Holtzman will look forward to seeing you at Yankee Stadium when Army takes on Connecticut in November. Thanks for having me. It's Ken Kreitzer at Mikey Stadium.